to our other top story. The jury is now deliberating in the trial of Trooper Brian North. Yeah, each side presented closing arguments today. News 8's Brittany Taylor was in court. Let's go to her for the latest. Brittany. Lisa Dennis, this case is now in the hands of a six person jury who will head into deliberations and determine the fate of State Trooper Brian North. So now the evidence is complete and you're going to hear the closing arguments of the parties. Defense and prosecution lawyers attempting to sway a six person jury as they made their closing arguments Wednesday. Inspector General Robert Devlin must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that state trooper Brian North's fatal shots to Mubarak Suleiman in 2020 were unjustified. He poses no danger to Trooper North. He poses no danger to any of the others either. Um, he merely twisted his, he never moves toward them. He never tries to get over the console or into the passenger seat, all of which he'd have to do in order to exit the car to pose any real threat to anybody. Jackson, go to Taser! Taser! But the defendant's lawyer, Frank Riccio, says North's actions were justified. There was a threat to his colleagues who were on scene that day, and he needed to act in a split second. Well, of course he posed a threat because, again, it's not just do we have an unconscious guy in a car is that threatening behavior. It's what has he done since 27 using his car as a deadly weapon. On the day of the shooting, witnesses throughout the trial testified Suleiman had been acting erratically. He went into a cell phone store in Norwalk and displayed a kitchen knife. He stole a lift vehicle and led police on a 30 mile pursuit from Norwalk to West Haven. Within 35 seconds of Trooper North boxing in Suleiman's vehicle off exit 43, he fired seven back to back shots at close range through the driver's side window. Why seven shots? And the answer is, as Trooper North testified, seven shots because that's how I was trained. Seven shots because it was one brief engagement. I shoot until the threat is over. Look, when you boil it down, um, Within 35 seconds, okay, this Hyundai stopping, uh, Mubarak is dead. Why? Why is he dead? Because he stuck a stupid knife up in front of his face and Brian North jumped the gun and shot him seven times. Um, he's a scared kid doing a stupid thing and he should still be alive today. This professor of criminal justice called by the state as a rebuttal witness testified troopers at the scene of the shooting should have deferred to their superiors for direction as opposed to taking the actions they did that day. In that 35 seconds, you had the ability to request a supervisor. If convicted, North could face a maximum sentence of 40 years in jail. And the judge instructed to the jury that they can consider lesser charges in addition to the initial charge of first degree manslaughter with a firearm. Those lesser charges include second degree manslaughter with a firearm and criminally negligent homicide. In Milford, Brittany Taylor, News 8.